The World Hausa Day is an internationally recognized day set aside to celebrate the culture and the language of Hausa people, whose population is estimated to be over 70 million people globally. The day, which is also observed to highlight the contributions of the ethnic group to global peace and development, also saw a display of a rich and diverse heritage that spans various fields including literature, arts, trade, culture and more. Rabi Maude is the public relations officer of the Hausa Youth Ghana. World Hausa Day is an exercise to celebrate the people, the culture, the language and achievements of the ethnic group Hausa people. The Hausa people have contributed immensely in many spheres of life in religion, in the spread of Islam, in the Sahelian and West Africa, in trade, and in many other avenues. He chronicled some important roles the Hausa tribe has contributed to the socio-economic development of Ghana, hence the need to observe this special day. The first, the, the military, the Ghana's army, was started with that constabulary. The Ghana police was started with that constabulary. And then the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation also had veterans in the House of Communities to start it. There's no wonder that Hausa is still or is used in um, at the uh, Ghana Broadcasting Corporation till date. The head of communications at the Zongo Development Fund, Haji Ahmed Ayuba, admonished the need for Zongo indigents to forge together with unity as a means of attracting the needed development to the Zongo community. Our message to them is that we need a united Zongo people. We need, uh, in terms of development, I mean, there's no discrimination, there's no partisanship. Any person who comes from a Zongo community faces the same challenge as any other person. So we wanted to use culture and language as a tool to ensure that we have a rapid development in Zongo communities and to also ensure that we foster inclusion and development in Ghana in general. He emphasized that there is the need to educate the populace to understand that the constitution clearly states that indigents of Zongo are Ghanaians by birth and no one has the right to deny them of that citizenship. I think that we need a lot of education in terms of immigration officers, in terms of custom officers, in terms of people in the uh, passport office and indeed indigents of Zongo community themselves, they have to be well educated to understand that nobody can take your right to be a Ghanaian citizen. As long as you were born here or your parents were born here before independence, like our constitution clearly enumerates, I mean, nobody can take away your citizenship. Me, Marta Balhaji Awoiso Al Hassan Musa Sari is the Zongo chief of Chiman. He expressed satisfaction at the conduct of the event and urged the youth to seek both secular and Islamic education as a means of fostering peaceful coexistence amongst the inhabitants of Zongo. <laughs> What I would like to tell the populace is that there is the need for us to focus on seeking both secular and Islamic knowledge. That is what would help us. I also call on the people to stay away from these arguments and drugs. And all of our youth today are into drugs. Some do not work, and that is not helping the community. This year's World House Day, which was celebrated by the theme, Harnessing the strength of Zango for Ghana's socio-economic development saw major Hausa chiefs and personalities, including the national chief Imam, gracing the occasion. Reporting for Joy News, Alas Sabit.